Hi, today we're going to demonstrate our new WSB240 weather seal boot, or IP67 boot. This takes the place, or can take the place, of the traditional adhesive line atom shrink boot. The adhesive line atom shrink boot still comes packaged with every connector that we sell, but if you're working out in the field, or if you're just looking for some additional strain relief, this may be something you want to look at. It comes in packs of 10, it comes with packs of lubricant. For our purposes today, we're going to use this P80. You may want to try this. Uh, you can buy it online. It's very good. It's a plastic or, or rubber um, lubricant, temporary lubricant, biodegradable. So let's get started here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this lubricant, just going to put a drop on the cable, and we're going to push this boot onto the cable and get it out of our way, like so. At that point, we'll take the ferrule, place the ferrule over the cable, Take our CST-248 tool, make sure it's uh, clean, like so. Place it over the cable, push down on the thumb switch, and once it's depressed all the way, make a couple revolutions. You see a little bit of uh, dielectric there, you can just pull it off with your finger. Just like that. And you flip it around the side too, make sure it's set for straight. Spin it around the cable, let the, let the uh, tool do the work. Just like so, it spins freely. At that point, take your connector, your EZ-240-NMHSX connector, take your round wire braids, just fan them back a little bit from the dielectric. You get it started, just right over the, right over the tape. It's a nice snug fit. You push it, you feel it come stop, and you kind of push it, push. That's those brilliant copper fingers riding up over the center conductor. At that point, you take your ferrule, you bring it up, see the braid wires are right where you want them to be. No more trimming with a pair of scissors. You take your crimp tool, your, your uh, CT240, 200, 195, 100 tool. It's the largest die here. You crimp it just once. Crimp it right at the back of the connector, like so. At this point, just put one more drop of uh, lubricant onto the cable. Straighten the cable out, and you can just pull that boot right up and it locks right in place, just like so. Thank you.